All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, man. Credit K, your boy Kevin Blackman. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button because I'm here daily. Yes, daily with content to help you gain access to better credit cards, update your personal credit score, build your personal credit scores, flip that to business credit, start businesses. Then I'll show you how to use those uh, business credit cards to, you know, start businesses, gain active income, passive income, all that stuff. So, also, I need you to drop a comment down below. It helps me get out to a wider audience, 2023. I'm trying to help everybody level up, get better credit scores. So, by you just leaving a comment saying, hey, I rock with you, K. Keep doing your thing. It's going to go out and then more people can see this and more people can get approved for business credit card like this Citizens, Tr Citizens Bank business credit card I got for $10,000. For my business, they actually have two cards, and I applied for both of them <clears throat> and got approved. So I'm gonna teach you guys exactly how to do that in this video, so you don't want to miss. Also, hit that notification bell since I'm dropping videos every day, and sometimes YouTube don't let everybody know or show the videos up on your feed. You don't want to miss out. All right, all right. Now we got that out the way. Let's get into the sauce. So the Citizens Bank credit card business credit card of course they got personal credit cards but we're talking about the business one right now now i got approved for this card when starting the bank account the first day i started opening my business account with them and applied for the credit card the same day and got approved for ten thousand dollars now this card goes all the way up to fifty thousand dollars and then after I opened up a bank account, I waited three months and applied again for the other credit card and got 30000 So I have a total of 40000 from Citizens Bank. But you guys can probably get up to 50000 on the first try if you open an account, throw some money into your business checking account, and then wait. That's what we call seasoning. You're going to season your bank account. So that's a little free gem. And that's the way you get maximize your... Um, credit limits and guarantee higher approval rates by seasoning your accounts, building relationships with these banks. All right. So now some data points around the card. It does pull Equifax, um, Equifax personal as well as Experian personal. And then they pull a uh, look at Experian business and the SFBE small financial business exchange i believe that's what the acronym stands for but so they check your business credit scores and your personal credit scores and believe it or not this uh guess bank is not for new businesses now just because i didn't have an account when i applied my business was still three years old so you want to you know make sure that your business is three years old um, they have ways of checking by going to the secretary of state but let's be honest they get hundreds of thousands of <clears throat> applications daily and they don't have time to look through all that stuff. Sometimes they have a computer algorithm, but a lot of times that's not suffice. So with these stated income applications, you put what you need to put on these applications to get approved. If you want to be honest, you can do that. If you want to get approved, then you can kind of project, uh, you know, what you're doing, what your revenue is, how long you've been in business, how long you plan on being in business and kind of a great area of getting approved like that so remember Equif equifax and experian personal credit hard pool um you're gonna have to pg this credit card it is a personal guarantee you can't get around that and they do look at your business credit scores as well um like i said i had very little business credit on this business at the time this is my secondary business not the main one that i apply for credit cards for so i actually need to apply for the main business on this card and see if i can get approved but um, I'm, you know, I just applied for three cards recently and not really trying to apply for any more because banks like these are inquiry sensitive as well. What that means is you cannot have more than three inquiries before applying or that will decrease your approval rating. You probably get denied if you got three or more inquiries within the past three months sitting on your credit report. Now, once inquiries get about a year old, most banks don't really look at them like that. They don't really affect your credit score or, or affect your approval rating. But, you know, six months or less, they look at you as credit thirsty, especially you got new accounts. So what you do, you know, 
I guess credit removal hacks out there. Um, I have a credit removal, an inquiry removal hacks out there. I have an inquiry removal video. I'm trying to link that right above, right here. So you can check that inquiry removal video out. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and look at the website, show you the ins and outs, what's so special about these cards, see if they got any 0% interest. We know we love those. That's the way you can use business credit, pay down some personal debt, or you can buy some investments, build your business up, and don't have to worry about interest being charged for 12 months. All right. So let's go hop on into the Citizens website and get into it. Right, we are inside the Citizen Trust Bank website, small business department. Of course, they got personal products, but we're here for the business. So let's get into the credit cards. Two great credit cards, great for rewards, great for low interest. We got the business everyday points card, and we got the business platinum credit card. Both of them has zero percent, one only for six months, other one for a full 12 months. Now, the great rewards cards, you get $325 if you spend $5,000 in the first 90 days. That's exactly what I did. And they sent me a statement credit for $325, which I just used to pay off the bill. Um, so, pay down the bill, rather. Uh, so, the zero APR, high interest rates. But that's the way the game going right now. But we're going to pay off the bill in full or almost full so we won't have to get hit with those interest freeze we got cash flow monitoring travel benefits tap and go access a mobile app so you can uh, pay your bill and all that good stuff i suggest putting everything on auto pay auto debits um business credit card online banking and it reports to Equifax business and the SFBE business. So it helps build a little business credit as well with these cards, man. It's real simple. So you go to apply and they show you what states you are in. Now, it is geo restricted. Geo restricted meaning, you know, people in these states can open up the account. Um, that just changed recently. Um, at the time when I applied last year, I couldn't apply in Georgia. Uh, not sure why they changed it, what happened, why they took Georgia off the list. But Georgia was one of these states where I could apply. And like I, said, I got, the, got the cards here to prove it, so I'm not sure what's that about. But what you can do is open up a new business or file and uh, do a foreign filing claim so you can actually uh, you know have your place of business in one state but have your list of operations in another state um, there are some tax-free business states i know delaware and nevada um, are one of them and then some personal uh no tax states like florida and tennessee but probably want to do a um, foreign entity state in delaware Make the filing fee. I think the filing fee may be 400 bucks in that state, but open up the business in that state and apply for the card that way. Like I said, it's definitely worth it. Uh, I know people are getting up to $50,000 with this card because they have a relationship with Citizens Bank. So once you, you know, form the business, open up this bank account, wait for three months, and then go get 50000 I feel that it's definitely worth the hassle of going through these things. So they got business credit cards, lines of credit, loans, all kind of stuff. And so let's say we're doing a business credit card. Let's see any more information we can look. So of course they won't name when your business start. Like I said, they are new business sensitive. So you want to be in business for at least two years of age. Are you primed for a new product or increase to an existing product or you increase? But yeah, I need to go for an increase on mine then. So we're going to do that. But that is that in a nutshell. Um, you know, once you do that, you're going to you're gonna put your business information in. Then more personal information like your address, the social security number, uh, how much you personally make. You definitely want to be in the six-figure ranges when applying for revenue, when you ask for revenue or personal income. You definitely want to be over six figures with any amount you do 
make your business look good, make your business look established as possible. And that's how you get approved for these cards. And then, like I said, they'll finish up and uh, you get approved instantly or sometimes they may need additional information and they may call or email you, things of that nature. But it's not a hassle, not a troubling experience. Like I said, they got lines of credit and loans and equipment so you can get cars, uh, you know, tractors, things of that nature through Citizens Bank with their business as well. All right. So that is the two business credit cards, the Platinum card and the Everyday Rewards card. Um, I would go with the Everyday Rewards card first because Platinum is usually for higher credit scores and more established businesses and business accounts. So go for the great rewards first. If you want to just apply straight off, you know, as soon as you open up the account and then a couple of months go for the platinum card like I did. Or if you want to maximize the most out of both of these cards, you know, wait two or three months before applying. That way that will increase your chances of getting approved for high credit limits. And they also got corporate things. Um, Let's see if you're a large, larger entity, a larger corporation, need more revenue, more flexible options. You can do that as well through this bank. Oh, we're not doing no surveys, bro. bro. Bro, no surveys, no surveys. So that's the deal. Um, you know, they got investing options, point of sale. So if you need a uh, car reader if you need to take cash through them you know they got all kind of business resources that's what i like about banks like these um if you're going to open up a business bank account you know just don't open up with any bank make sure they have business products make sure they have lending opportunities um they're just taking advantage of you if you just put all your money in a bank account they're you know using your bank to lend out and make more money and all you get this might be what 3% interest, 0.2% interest. If you ask for business products and lending products, you can actually get ahead of the banks instead of the banks getting ahead of you. All right. So that's a little rule of thought, a little free game. When you're choosing business bank accounts, always choose one with more than one business bank product. And unfortunately, Navy Federal only has really one business banking product, which is a business credit card although you can get cars through your business with navy federal you have to pg personal guarantee those so that's not the best option for getting cars for your business all right all right so appreciate you sticking around to the end of this video i want to invite you guys out to my facebook group where i talk about business credit and grants i give out free grant information things that people are charging five six hundred dollars for a list of grants i'm giving out free on that channel on, on that facebook page so go down to the link down below in the description and you'll see that link to that facebook group all right all right until next time man get your credit up get your money up and not your funny up later